Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and overview of a power supply that I'll be using in my PC build. This is Corsair RM650X. So let's just open this box. This is actually the new version of RM650X, which was updated in 2018. Here, as you can see, this is the manual. Let me just place it outside. This is the main cable and these are some zip ties and screws. Let me just show you the input ratings for this power supply first. So here as you can see guys, they have provided the details for different models RM1000X, RM850X, RM750X and this is RM650S which is our model. So immediately here you can see all the details. First the dimensions 150mm in width, 86mm in height and 160mm in length. And most importantly these are the input ratings. The input voltage is mentioned from 100 to 240 volt. Basically it can be used in any part of the world because in some countries the voltage is around 110 volts but I am in India our voltage is around 220 to 240 volts so it will work in India as well and input current here as you can see 10 ampere to 5 ampere and frequency range is from 47 to 63 hertz so it will work very nicely even in India. Let me just show you that power cable. So this is the power cable that comes with this power supply. Now the thing is that this is the UK model. So that is why the pins are of UK style. Now it will not go in the Indian power sockets. But since the input voltage and frequency are supported. So you can use this universal multi-plug to convert this UK plug into an Indian one just like this. Here as you can see that fit nicely. Now I can plug it in any of the Indian sockets. Since this is a UK based 3 prong cable. So it also comes with a 13 ampere fuse. Let me just show you the model number for this particular power supply. Here as you can see this is the 2018 version. So its model number is CP9020178. And since it's the UK model, UK is mentioned here. If it's the USA model then NA will be mentioned here. That is why our plug is UK based. So let's just take out our power supply now. Here as you can see this is packed very nicely. Let me just take it out. So nothing more is inside here, just another bag with cables. Let me just take it out as well. Yes, so let me just place them now. And just remove the plastic covering from this power supply. Yeah, so this is an 80 plus gold certified power supply for low power consumption. And it also operates at low noise. It also has a zero RPM fan mode. Basically the fans will not spin at low or medium loads. Here as you can see guys, they have provided that note, silent operation at low to moderate loads because the fan will not spin at all with low or medium loads. It also employs 100% industrial grade 105 degrees Celsius rated Japanese capacitors, fully modular cables so cable management will not be a hassle with this power supply. So let's just check out all the cables in this bag and I'll be also showing you how to connect these cables to the power supply. The final cable connection to the motherboard will be shown in my PC build video. I will be using this power supply to power my rig which has Ryzen 3700X CPU and RTX 2070 Super GPU. So let's just open this bag. So let me just take out all the cables first. So there are a lot of cables. Yeah so now I will put the bag away. Alright so now I will refer to the manual to identify the cables. Yeah, so the first one is the 12 volt ATX cable 24 pin 20 plus 4. Let's just find this and here it is immediately you can see that. So this is the 24 pin motherboard cable guys and here as you can see they have covered this area. It holds the capacitor. The capacitor are built into the cable itself. Now the cable quality is very good I have to say. And this is the 24 pin plug. It is keyed so it will go in one direction only. And here as you can see this is the other side. So this is the 18 pin plug and this is the 10 pin plug. Type 4 is mentioned on these cables because you need to use these type 4 cables with this power supply you should not be using any other cable these cables have these capacitor on them so this part will go into our power supply so the next cable is the EPS ATS 12 volt cable we'll be using it to power our CPU it is 8 pin 4 plus 4 and only a single cable is provided let's just find that now yeah so this is the cable guys here as you can see again the capacitor are covered so in this cable CPU is clearly mentioned here so there is no confusion between this cable and the PCIe cable which we will be using to power our GPU. So this part will go in our motherboard and type 4 is mentioned here so we will plug it in our power supply here as you can see 4 plus 4 and 4 plus 4. If your motherboard has only 4 pins for the CPU power you can actually break this cable from here here as you can see. 
it will actually split if you try to break it but my motherboard has 8 pin so i'll be using the complete cable so the next cable is pci 8 pin cables 6 plus 2 cable they have provided two cables and each cable has two connectors so in total we'll be having four connectors let's just look for these cables immediately i can see one here and the other one is here so uh, here as you can see guys pcie is clearly mentioned so there should be no confusion between these cables and the cpu cables both have eight pins but the thing is guys these cables will be having six plus two and six plus two pins in our cpu cable we have four plus four pins so we'll plug these pci smart cables into our graphics card and here as you can see guys on the other plug they have written type 4 these plugs will go straight into our power supply let me just open the cable to show you those two connectors on a single cable so here as you can see guys this is the complete cable i'll plug this side to the power supply and after that i'll be having these two eight pins so basically for the first eight pin you can use this plug and for the remaining six pin connection you can use this one some graphics card have eight plus eight so you can add this two pin here again to fill the connection now some people use different pci cables to power their graphics card if the graphics card consumes a lot of power but in some tests i have seen that the difference is almost negligible so it's your choice you can power your graphics card using a single pci cable or you can also use two pci cables if you want now this is a very high quality power supply so you should not be having any issues with the power delivery using single cable yeah so moving on we have three sata cables and each cable has three connectors so in total we have nine connectors let's just find these cables immediately i can see there's one here so this is the sata power type 4 is mentioned here it will go in our power supply and this is the first connector second and third one so we'll be using this cable to power our hard disk and solid state drives which requires sata power and my cabinet is pentax p300 it also has a sata plug for powering its led so i'll be also using this one they have provided three cables this is the second one and there should be one more and this is the third one so each one has these three connectors that's good to see let's just find our other cable so the next one is the peripheral cables four pin here as you can see only one of them is provided and it has four connectors so let's just find this four connector cable yeah so this is the peripheral cable here as you can see guys type 4 is mentioned here it will go in our power supply these are the four plugs one two three four the last cable is one floppy driver it only has one connector it's not in use but uh, they still provide it so these were all of the cables and now i'll show you how to connect it to your power supply so let me just show you the inputs here in the older model these pin areas will be connected but they have separated in this one everything is labeled here it's mentioned 24 pin ats cable so my motherboard cable will go here so i'll plug the 18 pin cable here and the 10 pin cable here just like this so we just need to push it slightly it's a bit stiff as it's new yeah so here as you can see guys finally i was able to put it in but it's now nicely recessed next i'm going to plug in my cpu cable yeah so this is the cpu cable i'll just open it so here as you can see guys 6 plus 2 pcie and 4 plus 4 cpu i'll use this for the cpu and these are for the pci connections just going to plug this part of the cable here now just going to push it yeah just like this it went in very easily here as you can see nicely recessed next connection will be for my pcie just pick any of the pci cables so here it is now i'll plug in the type 4 part of this cable here yeah so now i'll slightly push it down that went in very nicely and these all are dedicated for peripheral and sata so let's just pick up any of the sata cables i'll be using one hard disk and one solid state drive so one sata cable will do just fine for me not using any cd drive it also uses sata power so this is a cable and type 4 is mentioned here so i'll just plug this cable in my power supply just like that the connection is complete now i can power all my sata drives so guys these are the all cable connection that were required and now all we have to do is plug these cables into our equipment so guys i'll end this video here i hope you found it useful if you did please hit the like button if you did not you can hit the dislike button please consider subscribing to our channel if you're looking forward to such similar content in the near future thanks for watching and have a nice day